<laughs> Yay! Douglas planned this surprise photo shoot for me, which is so sweet. And we decided to do it in the RV park because we're meeting up with some friends for dinner and it just makes it a little bit easier. Plus, I thought it would be really cool if we could, like this is our whole RV. So that's our home on wheels. And then that's our truck. And I thought it'd be really cool to capture. Oh, did you fall down, babe? Good job wiping it off, okay. Up to Daisy. Good job. I thought it would be a really fun idea to capture you know, just like the moment, like I don't know when we're gonna be able to take a cross country road trip again. And it's just a cool memory. So we're probably gonna try to get some pictures in our truck and with the RV. So stay tuned, I'll show you what they look like. Look at this, lake side photos, right in our RV park. Look at this handsome, oh what are you posing already? Your little model girl. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys want to go swimming? Do you guys want to go swimming? My daddy's the best in the world. My daddy's the best in the world. Oh, thank you. We just had the best birthday dinner. I'll put a picture here because I forgot to take any sort of footage of it. Uh, just because we were so in the moment, which felt so, so good. And I gotta tell you, Nicole and Vic at Coconuts, and I don't think Vic is even really on social media, her husband, they're both from Big Brother. We met because we had the same agent, Nicole and I did. And then we just like hit it off the attacks. We're both nurses. And um, she's just so awesome. And so was Vic, her husband. And then their little baby <laughs> arrow is so cute. Nicole, so sweet. So she has a shop. And she, she gave me a couple, um, like, just like items from her shop. And then she also had these flowers for me. So, anyways, off to the pool we go. And, um, what a good birthday. Like, this is like the nicest birthday, Doug. That was a great birthday today. Yeah, you did. You, like, woke me up with candles and such a nice day and you had a card that you spent you spent five bucks on a card and I'm like if you spend anything more than a dollar on a card you've overpaid <laughs> it's terrible but it's true <laughs> you could literally pick out an old picture they colored and put happy birthday on it and I would have been like oh so nice <laughs> just save five bucks because I'm like that's like a coffee <laughs> anyways we'll see you guys at the pool you want to get out <laughs> so we're with Nicole and Vic and Baby Arrow. And then there's my Brexy boy. Hi, honey. Hi. And that's Doug. That's Daddy Doug. Hi. Hi. And we're enjoying some pool time. This is so nice. I'm, I have more neighbors. I know. I used to work too. But maybe one day. I get scared of being on video. <laughs> Well, she's been on Big Brother. How many times have you been on Big Brother? Three times. One, right? Yeah. yeah. She yeah. wants. Does anyone know Nicole? If you know Nicole, comment below. She's at Coconuts on Instagram, and we actually became friends via Instagram, and here we are now. She's even way So is this one. <laughs> It's so cool. It's the nicest thing is that our husbands totally drive. I feel like that's hard to get. Back to just hang it. Gracie. It's gonna be Father's Day, so we have to Tomorrow? get very soon. So we have to go get that for Daddy. Get him a present, okay? Can we do a Kim card today? That's a good idea. I think he'll like that. That's what I just saw, Bobby. Wow, that's so cool. I told you it was real. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. There's a baby inside. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we're coming to Walmart and we see all these horse and buggies and then I see one coming out of Walmart. I'm like, where do they even park it? Like, so we're literally at a Walmart and, and look, they, they park their buggies over there. You see two more? Where? Yeah, I, I think I see two. 
This is so cool. I really love, this is Middlefield, Ohio. And if you ever get a chance to come, I kind of want to come back and see if I can like, I want to live like an Amish for, you know, just, it's just like it's such an interesting, a different way of life. And it seems very difficult, but also very simple. And like the simple part sounds amazing. I can do difficult anything, but like, just like have like a simple, but I find it interesting they shop at Walmart. Like, isn't that interesting? My birthday was amazing and now it's Father's Day. So I want to make Father's Day just as special for Douglas. I was actually born on Father's Day, surprisingly. Um, surprising because I don't have a father. So my mom never knew who my father was. So my birth certificate is actually blank. I was, she was first gonna abort me and then she decided to keep me and um, adopt me out. And she had like a whole family set up to adopt me out, but they were actually at the hospital too the day she delivered me. But then she said she saw me and didn't want to let me go. She said, I took one look at you, our eyes connected, and I knew I couldn't let you go. And uh, so then she kept me and tried to find out who my father was. So I had four paternity tests and they all came back negative. I actually technically think I had five. She just recently told me. But anyways, I only ever knew of four. And so they all came back negative and... Um, of course I was like incredibly bummed by that. Like I was so like hurt and like longing for a father for my whole life. I was so embarrassed not to know who my father was. I felt like I was the only kid in the world who didn't know who her father was. And it was just, I was just so embarrassed. But, um, after I, like, mostly like in school and stuff. And obviously like for my wedding, I don't have a father to walk me down the aisle and I got married to a stranger. So then I have to kind of explain, oh yeah, you know, like everyone's like, well, who's, where's your dad? Do you have a dad? Who's your dad? I'm like, oh, I don't know. Literally, I don't know. One second, baby. So I anyways. Miss, I miss my dad. Oh, you do? Okay. Well, we're going to get back there. Never mind me. I'm like, RVing is just, it's not easy to to do anything, let alone like your keep yourself up. <laughs> but anyways, so I just am really thankful that my kids have a father. That was always my thing. Like I ended up uh, doing a DNA test and finding like what I did like ancestry DNA, and I ended up finding an aunt. Um, but unfortunately, I was just a couple of months too late. To my father had just died, but I found who my father was. I never got to meet him, unfortunately. And um, you know, it, that just I don't want to. I don't want to get emotional. I'm getting emotional. I don't want to though. I was like, I don't want to go there. I, I just like, I just really am so bummed that I ha I missed the chance to, to meet him. Um, just because I feel like I must be like him a little bit, you know, like, I don't know. I'm very different than my siblings. I'm very different than my whole family. And I just thought maybe I must be like my father. So I was really hoping to meet him one day, but that didn't happen. So anyways, I'm really thankful though that my kids have a father. I mean, Doug is honestly the absolute best father that any child could ever have. I mean, I don't know how I got so lucky to marry a complete stranger who turned out to be so patient and loving and then also an amazing dad. Like, I think that the reason you know, we were obviously weren't in love and love wasn't what got us married. It wasn't what kept us together. There are other things though about him that kept us married in the beginning. And I'm sure about myself, like he wasn't in love with me either. And the biggest thing that kept us, that kept me like m wanting to learn more about him, just kind of like dating, but we were already married. Um, it's just like, I could see he was so good with kids and so patient and so loving and so calm and so gentle. And I was like, oh, this guy is great. I don't, I just hope the love thing comes. And then it did. But anyways, that, and that didn't happen like that. If you saw Married at First Sight, oh, you know, it didn't happen like that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we were married on season one of Married at First Sight, in case you're like new to the channel. But anyways, long story short, we are shopping for daddy for Father's Day. This is so funny because we're on an RV trip and we're traveling across the country in our, in our vehicle, in our RV. And the guy hates campfires because he doesn't like the smoke. It's not the fire, it's the smoke. And the guy hates bugs. Like two things daddy hates, campfire, like smoke, smoky campfires and bugs. So I found a smokeless, a, like it reduces 70% of the smoke um, fire pit for him to give him for Father's Day. And then um, I, f I figured we would make him a little Father's Day card, Henley Grace. You can go color him a nice picture. So anyways, we're going to get, um, get go home and get his card made and then uh celebrate father's day with daddy today and i feel a little i feel i'm feeling a little sick i'm hoping to feel a little bit better just a little tiny bit i think i just need some water some food and some rest it's been a long trip gracie girl we've been on the road for over two months we've traveled 
thousands of miles at this point. Um, it, it's just been wild, but we're super excited to be here in Middlefield, Ohio, and I'm so pumped to celebrate Father's Day with Daddy tonight. All right, let's go. Okay, so the kids and I are outside playing and setting up Daddy's Father's Day gift. So we've yeah. got the perfect gift for a man who loves campfires, but doesn't like smoker bugs. <laughs> we got a fire pit that reduces up to 70% of smoke. And we've got mosquito zappers. So, uh, that I got from the clearance rack, not gonna lie. All of this is actually clearance except the food. And then we have the perfect Father's Day card. But from Henley and Hendrix. Henley loves black. I don't know why, but I'm like, that's kind of an, an ominous. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I have spinach on my teeth. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to call Doug out and wish him happy Father's Day. That's really Mommy, embarrassing. I saw this rock. You did? Yeah, and it's for you. Do you want to get and daddy? Want to go get daddy so we can show him his, his Father's Day present early? So yeah. we can use it early? Because he's so over. We had a fire in Wisconsin and he like <laughs> just hated it. And he got, I honestly, he gets feeling nauseous. So we haven't been able to have a fire since Wisconsin. Like a rock. You got a rock? Good job. Daddy. What? Father's Day present. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes, seriously. Cover your eyes. Say, Daddy, come here, Hendrix. We have to give Dad, uh, Daddy a big present and a big hug. Okay, Henley, you stand right here. You stand right here. Hendrix, you too. Daddy's covering his eyes. Okay. Open them. You got me stick. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Thank you for being the best daddy to our babies. We love you. Love Henley and Hendrix. Oh, whoa, what is this? So what do you think oh. of that? Is that for real? Yeah, it's it supposed to reduce smoke. This is why we don't use do a campfire because of the smoke. I know. I'm saying um, for the man 70% who percent less. For the man, I am seventy percent more likely to have a fire now. <laughs> That's so good. Mosquito zappers, so we don't get yeah. eaten up alive. <laughs> this is amazing. You like it? I do. I put and then them s'mores. Put them in a fire, don't you? Because you love s'mores. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love you. Mm. 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 Oh, family hug. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Family uh -oh, hug. Uh-oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Get him. Uh-oh. Get him. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. All I'm right. stuck. Family I'm hug. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. All right. You got a tap? Oh. Gotcha. Jeez. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap on Father's Day. Woohoo!